Whether you're new to 3D printing or if you're a seasoned enthusiast, the world of 3D printing will set you on a path filled with excitement, wonder, and limitless possibilities. With recent advances in technology, 3D printers are becoming more popular and more affordable than ever before. But which one is right for you? In this video, we're breaking down the top five 3D printers on the market this year, based on price, performance, features, and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at 3D printers in every price range. So whether you're looking for a great value entry-level printer or a top-notch 3D printer that delivers professional results, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which 3D printer will be best for you, stay tuned. And as always, all the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So for the most up-to-date information, along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll start with the Creality Ender 3 Pro, our choice for best budget FDM 3D printer. The Creality Ender 3 Pro, at around $235, is one of the best budget FDM printers you can get. It's an excellent and affordable tool for makers, hobbyists, and tinkerers. It's capable of delivering some astonishing quality prints that puts some pricier printers to shame. The Ender 3 Pro offers a decent build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters, a magnetic bed, a power recovery mode that will resume your print after a power failure, and a tight filament pathway that makes it easier to work with flexible materials. Being an FDM, or Fused Deposition Modeling Printer, it uses thermoplastic filaments like ABS or PLA, and extrudes it through a heated nozzle, melting the material and applying the plastic layer by layer to build a platform. However, its low price does come with some drawbacks. The magnetic bed tends to be a bit flimsy, especially when compared to a firmer, flexible metal build plate found on other models. The magnetic plate can also cause some shifting that can misalign and ruin your print. With these flaws aside, the Creality Ender 3 Pro is a highly enjoyable 3D printer to use. Once you iron out the settings and get the bed calibration right, you'll find the quality that this affordable 3D printer delivers is pretty astonishing. On the software side, the Ender 3 Pro comes with an SD card preloaded with the Windows version of Cura. And if you're a Mac or Linux user, you can download a version of Cura for free. For the price, the Creality Ender 3 Pro is a great budget printer and ideal if you're just starting out in 3D printing or don't want to invest a lot at this point. Now, if you're an enthusiast or looking to upgrade from your current 3D printer, then the Prusa i3 Mark III S coming up next may be more up your alley. This brings us to our choice for the best 3D printer under $1,000, the Prusa i3 Mark III S. If you're a 3D enthusiast, then you've probably already heard of the Prusa i3 Mark III S. For a printer under $1,000, the Prusa i3 Mark III S is tops when it comes to a balance of print quality, features, and price. Once assembled and plugged in, the LCD interface takes you through a super quick setup process, and after a few moments, you're ready to print. Thanks to the test models preloaded on the included SD card, choosing something as a test print is quick and easy. Prusa's slicing software, Prusa Slicer, is easy to get started with. It's offered for download on the Prusa Research website, and once you grab it and install it, you'll be up and running in a matter of minutes. Although the interface may not be as polished as what you'd find on Ultimaker's latest version of Cura, which you can also use, it's definitely still very clean and streamlined and well-organized. Whether you're new to 3D printing or have some level of experience, you'll quickly find your way through this slicer. Using Prusa's proprietary filament, Prusa slicer settings make the printing process easy. Pause and resume works perfectly and allows you to switch colors with unload auto load functions on the LCD interface. You may encounter issues with warping, blobs or scars, and non-adhesion, but these things can happen to anyone and can be resolved by investing a little more time to tweak the settings and by exercising some patience. Other than that, the automatic bed leveling function works great. The extruder is powerful and the nozzle resists jamming. This printer is capable of delivering consistent quality prints and can provide professional grade results. The Mark 3S is a great option for the enthusiast, and this kit is perfect if you want to build the machine yourself. Now, if you're looking for a budget resin printer, Stay tuned as we take a look at the Anycubic Photon S and find out how to create highly detailed prints with light. Let's take a look at our choice for the best budget resin 3D printer, the Anycubic Photon S. The Anycubic Photon S lists for around $360 and is one of the best budget resin 3D printers available. While it uses a process similar to SLA, or stereolithography, the cost of the materials used are less than half the price of consumer-based SLA brands and is available at the same price as many FDM printers. The printing process of the Photon S is a little bit different from other printers on the list. 
It's a DLP or digital light projector printer that uses a resin that is first exposed to UV light, then washed and cured before you get the final result. So the maintenance and cleaning between each print may be a turnoff for some people. DLP, as with SLA, is far more work intensive than FDM 3D printing. And that's not all. The print build area is often considerably smaller. This begs the question, why would you bother with this time-consuming, messy and toxic technology over FDM, which is fine-tuned, clean, and safe? The reason is the result. The model quality is as close as you can get to injection molding without the huge cost and scale. You can use either direct USB or a USB stick for file transfers. The resin bath and build platform are protected by a full-height hinge door. It has a few moving parts, and you'll love how its small footprint takes up little room in your workshop. A small LCD touchscreen is positioned on the front, enabling you to navigate settings and options easily. If you want to produce prints with high detail that compares to the results you would get with injection molding and don't mind putting in the cleaning work, then the Anycubic Photon S is an excellent choice for an entry-level resin 3D printer. On the other hand, if you're an educator or someone with no 3D printing experience at all, stay tuned for the Flash Forge Adventure 3 coming up next. It's safe, enclosed, and makes for a perfect introduction to 3D printing for any age. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drop. So if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. This brings us to the Flash Forge Adventure 3, our choice for best ease of use 3D printer for beginners. The Flash Forge Adventure 3 is a fully enclosed desktop 3D printer that costs less than $500. It's also one of the easiest to use for beginners and delivers a safe and affordable introduction to 3D printing. Aimed at beginners and schools, the features of the Adventure 3 focus on usability and functionality, which includes an automatic filament feeding system, removable print bed, and built-in camera. Right out of the box, you'll find a slick, well-constrained little cube of a machine. Once you plug it in, you'll be met with a simple, friendly UI on the built-in touch display. With simplicity being a key feature in the design of this machine, you'll find the options are quite limited. The fully enclosed build chamber offers nice visibility of your print progress and further reinforces the opinion that this would be a good printer even for kids in schools. All closed up, the machine runs relatively quietly. The handy built-in LEDs on the tool head illuminate the print quite well, and the camera allows smooth, real-time print monitoring through the cloud. And you can print from a USB stick or use the built-in Wi-Fi and cloud features. You'll find printing with the default settings fairly middle of the road. But after tinkering with the settings, you'll be able to get some decent results. Once your print is finished, you'll love how easy it is to slide out of the build plate and remove your printed piece. And you'll find the combination of its good build surface and flexible plate works well and delivers with no hitches or problems. The Flash Forge Adventure 3's biggest strength is its ease of use. It's perfect as a learning tool for students in a school setting or for anyone that's just getting started with 3D printing. But if you're looking to take your 3D printing to the next level with more professional results, we have the Dremel Digilab 3D45 coming up next. This brings us to the last product of the video, the Dremel Digilab 3D45, our choice for best 3D printer under $2,000. If you're looking to invest a bit of cash into an advanced level printer to take your 3D printing to a whole new level, then at just under $2,000, the Dremel Digilab 3D45 offers the perfect balance between usability and anytime accessibility, produces top quality prints, and to top that off, it's also easy to set up and operate. The 3D45 comes fully assembled and comes with a guided setup to guide you through the process. It's like the Flash Forge. It's a closed frame printer and features a clear plastic door at the front and a clear lid that swings upward to open, allowing access to the printer bed safely, especially when there's an ongoing print job, keeping you at a safe distance away from the hot extruder nozzle. The new extruder is a direct drive system with a nozzle that can reach temperatures as high as 280 degrees Celsius and the print bed is heated glass that can reach 100 degrees Celsius, which will allow you to print most materials, including ABS and nylon. All the necessary software is included with the 3D45. It comes with its own bespoke version of Cura with three different levels of assistance, from completely automated through to full G-code editing, and is very easy for beginners, as well as powerful enough for advanced users. The 720p HD camera situated in the top corner of the printer lets you keep tabs on the progress of your print using your computer or smartphone. And a complete time-lapse video of every print you make is emailed to you as a link on completion. The Dremel Digilab 3D45 is great for anyone looking for professional results, regardless of their level of experience. 
The 3D45 makes it easy for beginners to advance their knowledge of 3D printing, and those with experience won't be frustrated with a system that has limited functionality or capabilities. This 3D printer is a win-win for all. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.